This episode of Gee News is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. The scientific method is so good, it can turn a 13-year-old who left bananas on the counter into an international celebrity. Hey everybody, Trace here for Gee News. Every year, Google partners with other global companies and invites kids from all over the world to showcase their science prowess at the Google Science Fair. And the 2014 winners were announced Monday night. I love the Google Science Fair, but it makes me feel super lazy. It's open to 13 to 18 year old students who perform an experiment following the scientific method. They just have to make a video to upload and explain it, but all of the scientific method of the experiments are crazy good. This year, the grand prize winner is a group of gals from Ireland. Kara Judge, Emmer Hickey, and Sophie Healy Tho spent three years exploring the warts on a pea plant. I know that's kind of weird to say, but good science has humble beginnings, guys. The three students were learning about the global food crisis in school and found that the pea plant's warts contained Rhizobia bacteria, which benefit the plants by creating ammonia and fixing nitrogen, which helps plants grow. It's commonly known, they've known about it since the 19th century. These young scientists figured if Rhizobia helped pea plants, it might help other plants too. They applied the Rhizobia to wheat, oats, and barley and increased seed germination rates by 50% and crop yields by 75%. That is huge! And that was three years ago when they were 13. Since then, they've applied those bacteria to 13,000 seeds and created a control field in their hometown with another 3,600 seeds. Yet another example of the microbiome of a plant revolutionizing farming without chemical pesticides or fertilizers, and it was done by teenagers. The bacteria help by reducing the amount of rot that naturally happens to plant roots in wet climes like Ireland. The 17 to 18 age group global winner, Haley Tedesco of Canada, created an experiment to see if her method could better clean toxins from a sand oil pool. It's weird, but imagine that. Trying to clean toxic waste from oil sand extraction toxic dumps as a teenager? Oil sands are a mixture of sand, clay, and water, and also petroleum. So companies are learning to extract the petroleum from the sand and the clay, but the byproduct is highly toxic. They usually just leave it in a reservoir to detoxify on its own for centuries. Haley grew up in a part of Alberta where these toxic reservoirs are fairly common. She wanted to find a way to solve this problem, so she drew inspiration from European sewage systems of the 19th century and created bacteria-based biofilms that would eat the acids in this oily, toxic byproduct. She spent two years working on the filtration system at a local university, and her hard work paid off. The bioreactors she created are cheap and work 14 times better than the ones in use by those companies today. This product will shorten the time it takes to detoxify the ponds from centuries to decades, she said. That's amazing. The third global winner is from the United States. USA! USA! Mahir Garamela's family went on vacation and returned to a house full of fruit flies. Their mistake proved fruitful, as Mahir noticed the flies' brains were incredible at 3D navigation and dodging their attempts to capture them. It was pretty amazing if you think about it. We got one billion neurons and we can't grab an insect with a thousand neurons. From there, 14-year-old Mahir designed a flying robot based on the cognition of these fruity flies. He designed a visual module inspired by the flies and created algorithms for the robot's propellers to mimic the escape behaviors of these tiny little pests. Practically speaking, the work these kids are doing could quite literally change the world. They could grow more food, they could clean up after dirty energy collection, they could help create stable and affordable flying robots for commercial and industrial applications. Their inspiration came from everyday things, from school, from their own silly mistakes. These kids are the future, and it's awesome. The U.S. Air Force has an eye on the future, too. I want to give them a quick shout-out for making this possible. Fun fact, the U.S. Air Force was the first to break the sound barrier in 1947. They've been breaking new barriers in science and technology ever since. So did you ever join a science fair, maybe as a kid or just now? What was your project? I did a thing about earthquakes, I think, in seventh grade. I made a diorama, it was cool, had some Lego dudes in it. But it was nothing as involved as all of this. Please take a second and click subscribe, and then like us or share us with your friends. Thanks a lot for watching D News, everybody. We'll see you later.